Okay, so what we have here is a uh, Saturn. Uh, I gotta check see what year this thing is again. Uh, 2002 Saturn with a 1.9, and the complaint is of course check engine light. And we have a misfire. Uh, a lot has been said about using uh, smoke machines to find vacuum leaks, but personally, when it's an intake gasket that's leaking, I really haven't had the best of luck with the smoke machine. I mean, it works, but. I'll just show you something else here. I've got the scanner set up. We've got our upstream O2 right here and our downstream O2 right here. And I have a can of carb cleaner. And because this has just come up a few times about lean codes more than anything else. And this uses a map sensor, not a mass airflow sensor. So we can see our short term fuel trim and our long term fuel trims aren't the worst. We're minus eight on the long term and running right around minus two on the short term. So it's really not, or fuel trims really aren't the problem. When you have a map sensor, a small vacuum leak isn't going to throw off your fuel trims at idle that much. But I'll just show you here with the carb cleaner. We'll just spray a little bit at the number one cylinder. And we can see the engine just doing a little hesitation just from a little carb cleaner. And then if we go back over here and look at our, uh, our O2 sensor when we sprayed that carb cleaner and both of our O2 sensors went way to the rich side. We're running, went up almost close to one volt on both of them, about 900, 900 plus millivolts on both of our O2 sensors when spraying a little carb cleaner in there. And like I said, a smoke machine is probably your first choice for finding a vacuum leak, but if if nothing shows up, uh, usually a smoke machine will find your bigger vacuum leaks like a, uh, a hose that's rotted away or, or something like that or even a, maybe something that's not seated upright. But a lot of times I've found that uh, it's kind of difficult with the smoke machine to find a, uh, a leaky manifold gasket. And this here is certainly... Uh, you can use propane, carb cleaner, or starting fluid. And you got to be careful around the running engine. Make sure there's no open flames or sparks or anything like that. But just, uh, just spray a little bit. My can's getting kind of empty here. That's a suspect area, and you'll be able to see. If any, if any at all is getting through to the, uh, is getting through that intake gasket, it'll definitely show up on your O2s. So, and once that breathes all the way through, things will start switching back to normal again. Again, that depends on the size of your intake leak and the engine and some other stuff. But again, just spray a little something to make it rich around the area you suspect of having the leak and uh, watch your O2 on your scanner and you should see it go rich. I guess that's about it. I mean it's it's really nothing new but I've seen a question come up here a couple of times and again remember that if you have a map sensor as has been pointed out a small vacuum leak isn't going to affect your fuel trims with a map sensor. If you get a large enough vacuum leak and not only will it upset your fuel trims but probably what your engine will either start racing or just won't run at all so uh, I guess that's about it again this is an O2 Saturn 1.9 common problem the intake gasket starting to leak over at the number one cylinder and we did show some misfires on the number one with the scanner so I guess that's about it